Now, a group of Newcastle football fans are showing cancer has no colours, especially when it comes to the memory of Sunderland fan Bradley Lowry. They'll be walking from the Stadium of Light to St James's Park next month to raise awareness of neuroblastoma and funds for the foundation set up in the name of the Young Black Cats fan. It's been organised by the head of a YouTube channel called Newcastle Fans TV. Lee Lawler tells Sun FM why they've decided to do it. We've got quite a big, strong uh, YouTube base and we want to give something back because you touch not just Sunderland, just Newcastle. And Newcastle fans would give a lot of sympathy, a lot of heart went out across the nation and was also picked up across the globe. And we just wanted to do something of our own accord to help uh, kids who suffer and kids shouldn't suffer. Hello, Newcastle Fans TV. Yeah, so that was me on radio, basically um, trying to get uh, a lot of people to get involved in our charity event, which is on October the 24th, as a lot of you now know. Please get involved if you're free. Why not come along? If you can get time off work or if work will allow you to do the charity, we want you to come along walking from the Stadium Light to St. James Park. More on that in a minute. Right, so we're just basically talking about, obviously this video is out slightly late because we've been to a, a couple of radio stations um, getting the charity event a little bit more awareness, but just going to be talking is about the goal which was scored uh, as you know, we like to uh, look back at the goals from over the weekend. So let's get on with it. Uh, slide one. As you can see, Matt Ritchie is just about to take the corner. Now, if you look here, you can see a clutch of Newcastle players unmarked. And Swansea are clearly zonal marking. Moving over, moving over to slide two. Ritchie kicks the ball. And now you can see, in particular, look at Lassell starting to run. He's starting to burst a gut to get it in that six-yard box. All the Swansea players are still static. You cannot do that. You really cannot. Moving on. Lascelles leap. Look at that. It's absolutely fantastic. Look at the height that he's got. He's hanging in the air, man. Brilliant. But why aren't a clutch of those four Swansea players attacking their zone? They're just very, very static. And Lascelles has the run on them. And the final slide, and it's in the back of the net. Brilliant by Lascelles, as I've mentioned. However, personally, for me, I don't like zonal marking. Swansea players didn't attack their zone. And they were very, very static, which allowed Lascelles to have that run. And when the player's got a run on them, more likely than not, he'll get on the end of it. If that was man marking, I really don't think that goal would happen. Really don't. Uh, no one on the post as well, for me. Something I feel that like you should always have. I always think that you should have someone on the on the, uh, on the the post. So just the one goal, Newcastle ran out 1-0 winners. But for me, Lascelles was absolutely fantastic. But a mix of zonal mark and what, like, what do you reckon of that? Uh, obviously, we got the three points. Fantastic Lascelles at the, at the other end. We're not really covering incidents as much we're just more focused on the goals and these type of videos but um so let us know we're just going back to the uh the radio interview when we went down to sun fm alicia and uh, sharky all spoke also as well here it is Bradley he touched not just england but the, the whole world and i think it's a, a great idea to as newcastle fans to give something back yes newcastle and Sunderland may be rivals but at the end of the day as a football community we are all one we're all together and i think it's important for young bradley that would would do some um, not just for him but also to the family because they're obviously they're grieving at this time you know that the young lad and doing what we're doing it's just nice to give something back even and us just doing a walk to raise money it's the least we can do you know just as long as we get as much money as possible to support these families it's important that it's talked about and that there is focus on it and that we can put as much forward to you know for research helping as many families as possible so it's pretty decent. It is pretty decent that now a couple of local firms, radio stations are getting involved and hopefully we'll get a lot more as well. Please donate. I know it sounds cringy and everything, but I don't ask anything from you lot ever. I really, really do. Uh, I never. I don't ask you to subscribe. I never ask you to like the video. It's very rare. Uh, but if you can donate, even if it's just a couple of quid, there's a link in the description. You can also see it on your screen as well. GoFundMe.com forward slash Bradley Lowry. Thank you very much for watching. See you later. And we'll also move on to the Stoke uh, we'll build up to the store crop tomorrow onwards. Thanks. See you. Bye-bye.